Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, the National Assembly, together with their lawyers, they are stranded in the Senate Assembly as Regadi Geshagwa's lawyer shocked the Senate Assembly. The lawyer to Regadi Geshagwa claims that the National Assembly is accusing Regadi Geshagwa for acquiring 600 million Kenya shillings to renovate his current resident for deputy president not in accordance to the law. But again, Rigathi Gashagwa's lawyer is reminding these members of parliament, but it is you who approved that 600 million Kenya shillings renovation for the deputy president current residence. Yani, members of parliament how do they approve? They debated on that issue and they approved that Rigadi Gashagwa's current residence was to be renovated with, two, with 600 million Kenya shillings. You saw even when Azimio was demonstra demonstrating, you could hear when we said that why is it that renovation is so expensive than the money that was used to build that residence? We saw Kina Kalonzo Raila Wakiuliza Izo Maswali. So I want you to listen to the lawyer to regard Gashago coming out to ask, how is it possible now that it is a crime for Regard Gashagwa, his current residence, being renovated with 600 million Kenyan shillings? But it is the parliament that approved by that time Azimio Ikwa Park and Parcel of Kenya Kwanza. How then they are accusing Rigadi Gashago? I want you to listen to the Rigadi Gashago's lawyer. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor and sure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So it is just a reminder. At the same time, you watch the video, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Let us listen to Regard Gashagwa's lawyer giving evidence and making the members of parliament so stranded with their lawyers in the Senate Assembly. You'll be told that paragraph 45H, that His Excellency has acquired a dairy farm in Nyandarwa County. Now, I, I guess we all have a common understanding of what a dairy farm is. His Excellency has no dairy farm in Nyandarwa County. The move of this motion does not give us any evidence of this dairy farm in Nyandarwa County. You will be told that His Excellency has used the office of the Deputy President to corruptly influence unnecessary and expensive renovation of his official residence in Karen and Mombasa. What will shock you is this, good people? The contract for the renovation of the official residence of the deputy president was signed by the controller of State House. Unless the move of this motion wants to make a claim that the deputy president conspired with the State House to, end, to have this contract executed. Number two, it will be known to all of us as members of parliament that the money for renovation of this official residence was approved by the National Assembly. Is the National Assembly conceding that it approved money for unnecessary expenditure by government? How can the National Assembly approve money for use for renovation of the residence of the Deputy President, then after that money is used for the intended purpose the renovation of the, the official residence of the president now drag the deputy president for impeachment for the reason of that renovation. I said 
it will move through the ridiculous to the embarrassing. And that is why I want to tell you today, if regarding a show is going to be removed tomorrow, remember, it is just a political conmanship that sat down in a certain corner and they decided this all time, all long, uh, long time ago. Hmm? So you should not be convinced because our two energy contradict. I wanna say ma, at least you regard the shower akona, shamba he kasi you ngapi, ameweka mombe. Sawa, it might be true or, or not true, but again the question is, where is the evidence? I've seen even the Senate, no, not the National Assembly, accusing regard the shower for acquiring a land, not in accordance to the process. Of acquiring a land. But the question is that member of parliament who sold for Gashawa that land is alive? Is a member of parliament? And if it is not true, you could have come out to reject that. Hmm? Could, have, could have rejected. But the reality is. These people are trading on some allegations that does not have evidence. I've analyzed a video here where James Orengo is claiming that in 2017, regarding a Shagwa, eh, February 2017, traveled to London. And his brother was in ICU. And he forced brother, his brother while in ICU to sign the will. Mm -hmm. Is it making sense? Somewhere. Again, that after the regarding Shagwa forced his brother in ICU in London 2017, before even he was appointed to be the running mate for William Root. So the question is some allegations, well, even for 2012, 2013, but we are looking at some allegations that we regarding Shagwa committed while in the office. Kenyans. I might not be the supporter of Rigadi Gashago. And I'm not supporting Rigadi Gashago. And I'm not campaigning for Rigadi Gashago. For any seat. He has not paid me. And even if he will come out to pay me, I will not campaign for him. But the truth is, whatever the National Assembly did was sham, pathetic, and traumatizing kind of process that Kenyans, we must ask ourselves. So they are portraying themselves as clean as a white snow. But the truth is, they do understand no evidence. The only thing that I will agree and I will not analyze here is about shares. Regarding Shagwa talked about shares. If Regarding Shagwa was being accused about shares, Nige Kubali, Na Iko Pale, Point Iko Apu, it is so bad as a deputy president you've been elected. And you're moving across the Republic of Kenya singing about shares, 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 shares. That was not pleasing to me. Si vizuri. Na si peni kabisa. But hata kama ligadhika shakwa taenda kwa sababu ya hiyo shares. Ukweli usemwe. Hizo chaje zingira ni make sense. Mike nina ni makea sense peke yake ni ima nena shares. I have evidence even I can display videos here. Where ligadhika shakwa was moving from one place to the other in the mountain. Kama si mountain rift valley. About shares, shares, shares. Regarding the Shagwa portrayed this Kenya Kwanza government as a government of shares. And it's a government of two tribes, Kikuyus and Kalenjins. I agree with that. But the reality is you cannot convince me that regarding the Shagwa acquired 600 million Kenya shillings for his resident renova renovation. Yet the parliament, while before the Azimio team, or rather, before Raila Odinga's members were appointed in the cabinet. You saw even Raila Odinga and Kalonzo claiming about the renovation and they say, how can it be possible that the renovation is so higher than the money that was used to build the house? Then at Rigadi Yashagwa, he came to London to force Brother Yake to sign a will in ICU. You know? At Rigadi Yashagwa, he was a bully. He bully. Who is not a bully in this government? Na, ni nani ana kiburi? Ni nani ana kiburi? That is it. So one thing that I can agree 
and I will not feel pain if Regalia Shaw is going to uh, uh, impeach the board. It's about the shares because he speaked, uh, uh, talked about the, the, the shares. It seems like even if I never voted for them, he's not the deputy president that will serve me or William Ruth is not the president to, that will serve me. But again, they must act as a symbol of unity. But all those kind of suggestions that the National Assembly brought on board is not making sense. Is not making sense. In the fact that this issue of shares, they don't know how to exhaust it so that Kenyans can understand it. Some few are understanding it. But again, if he, is talking about, he was talking about shares, who is not tribal in this country? Who is not tribal? Angaliyevli wakaliwa meheko kwa serikali. Then, wacha tuambia ni ukweli. Tuwacha uongo. You know? If, if Rigadhi Kashago alikuwa natetia watu yake, Mount Kenya. Seta akina Raila, akina Musali ya Mudavadi, akina Atuli, akina Kalonzo, akina Ruto wanatetia watu yao. And that is why Ruto na employ watu yao waingi sana kwa serikali. Is there a problem? The politics of the Republic of Kenya is about the interest. It's about the interest. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.